We all know the fact that the world's first airplane was created by the Wright brothers. Their aircraft called Kitty Hawk was the first aircraft to fly autonomously with a human. And this plane was the heaviest object that flew in the air for the first time. But these types of flying craft are reported to have been built earlier in Europe. So this is why the story that the Wright brothers discovered the airplane is not accepted in Europe. So, there are different opinions about who invented the airplane. But if you ask who developed the airplane in such a way that passengers can travel today, there is no argument that the answer is America. Due to the fact that America is a very large country, there are densely populated areas everywhere in the country, and economic strength. America has become an ideal haven for the development of the aviation industry. So American Airlines is one of the main giants that helped the development of the aviation industry in this way. So today, let's talk about American Airlines, which has contributed a lot to the development of the American aviation industry. World Virgin Channel. World Virgin Channel. The world's largest airline. There are several factors to consider when considering the size of an airline. Among them, the number of aircraft owned by an airline is the most important. At present, American Airlines, which owns 960 aircraft, is at the forefront of these, so this is a very large number of aircraft. Also, American Airlines ranks first in the world in terms of international passengers. They transport about 220 million passengers a year by their planes. It is stated that even in the years of 2020 and 2021, when the flights in the world decreased, this figure remained as high as 65 million. Although the number of international flights in many countries of the world is higher than the number of domestic flights, this situation is completely different in America. There are nearly 340 international airports in the 50 states of America. Their number of domestic airports is more than 5,000. Because of this, there is no country in the world that can even come close to America in terms of domestic flights. And there are more domestic flights in America than in all of Europe. So, because of this, American Airlines Group and the country's other largest airline conglomerate, Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and United Airlines claim the highest domestic passenger air services in the world. In this way, American Airlines provides its services to about 1 billion passengers per year, which is about one-eighth of the world's population. The first airline to use DC-3 aircraft. By the 1920s, airplanes were widely used for postal work in the United States. However, with the arrival of this DC-3 aircraft designed by the Douglas Company, there was a remarkable improvement in passenger services. Early airplanes were open planes with only two wings, and their engines made a loud noise like a tractor. So these were not very suitable for passenger flights. But the DC-3 we are talking about was designed for passenger flights very similar to the model of a passenger plane we are all familiar with today. Since both engines were mounted on the wings and the passenger compartment was enclosed, the noise heard by the passengers was minimized. That is why traveling by air became a pleasant experience for people. Also, about 30 air passengers were able to travel a distance of 2,500 kilometers. Accordingly, according to a timetable made for the first time in the world, American Airlines is conducting passenger flights using this DC-3 aircraft. This flight took place in 1936 from Newark Airport in America to Chicago Airport. So almost all the traditions that are required for today's airlines started because of this airline. Later, other airlines in America and Europe took this airline as a model and started developing. Creators of the Sabre System Nowadays, online transactions have become very common. Also, buying goods from e-commerce websites and paying for them has become very easy. But do you know that the American Airlines company laid the foundation for all this? That is because of the Sabre method they used to book their tickets. This included a system that could manage everything from airline tickets to their hotel rooms. Because of this, it became very convenient for any passenger to be able to know everything they need by just making a phone call. Although it took some time to get the information through the previously used card method, they were able to do it in a few minutes through this Sabre method. The golden age of passenger planes in the 1960s, turning the entire aviation industry upside down, is due to this Sabre system. A powerful member of the One World team, one World is a group that has membership of several airlines in the world. Through this, 
Passengers traveling on a small regional airline have the ability to reach their destination by another flight of the One World Group. American Airlines is the largest and most active member of this consortium. American Airlines owns 35% of the One World's air seats or one-third of the total seats. Even the highest rated companies such as Qatar Airways, Cathay Pacific joined One World Group because of the strength it gets from American Airlines. So even a small airline company like Sri Lankan Airlines, which is a member of this group, can buy tickets to travel anywhere in the world because of this One World Group led by American Airlines. The world's largest aircraft order. In the year 2011, the American Airlines company gives the largest and most expensive aircraft order ever recorded in the world. It is ordering 200 Boeing 737 aircraft and 320 Airbus A320 aircraft. Accordingly, the total number of airplanes they bought at one time is 520. By the year 2011, no airline had so many planes. They paid more than 38 American billion dollars for this huge amount of airplanes. In 2013, Emirates company placed an order for 150 of the largest and most expensive Boeing 777 is placing it first in the world in terms of value. Because its value was about $76 billion. But they have reduced 24 of these 777s and switched to 787s instead, and according to reports they have not yet taken over all the 777s related to this deal. So according to that, even today, the record of the order related to the huge amount of aircraft completed by American Airlines remains the same. Amount of annual passenger kilometers. Passenger kilometers are one of the main factors that measure the busyness of any transport company. These passenger kilometers are also used to calculate the number of free air miles awarded to frequent flyers. American Airlines has been at the forefront of this index for a long time. So in this way, the total distance they travel annually is 342 billion kilometers. Voyager 1, the farthest human-made spacecraft, has now passed within 23.5 billion kilometers of Earth. That's four times the distance from Earth to Pluto. So the annual flight distance recorded by American Airlines is about 15 times like this. So from this, you can imagine the annual mileage of American Airlines. The most successful loyalty program in the world. Today, every business has some kind of loyalty programs where their loyal customers get various privileges. However, among all these loyalty programs, the most successful program in the world is the A Advantage program of the American Airlines company. They work to provide special benefits to passengers using American Airlines as well as other businesses. The A Advantage program offers many perks including own credit card, exclusive lounge access, free baggage handling services, and free hotel rooms. And through this, a lot of money is flowing to American Airlines. Even in the year 2021, when the aviation industry has completely collapsed, American Airlines was able to get an income of $3 billion through this Advantage program. Thus, the most successful loyalty program in the world belongs to the American Airlines company.